Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Polarities mod. I've got bats! That's right. That's how we're starting off every single episode from now on. I started the trend in the last episode, started off by yelling about my new face. This time I'm gonna yell about my new bats. And from now on, I think the first thing that I'm gonna do, as soon as I start up every single episode, is just gonna be to blurt out the first thing that pops into my head as soon as I start the game up. Eventually, it's just gonna be just whatever random thing I see. Sunflower, dandelion, bunny. You know, things like that, of that nature. Anyways, how's everybody doing in this fine after eves? Whatever it is, wherever you are. Just like I say in my outro a bazillion times, are you ready for some more action in the Polarities mod? Well, before I get into anything, because on the agenda today is gonna be something that I figure is probably gonna be a little time consuming, because we're gonna be going off to the jungle and we're gonna be taking down Queen Bee. Before I get into any of that business, Suppose you're wondering where I got this bat stick. I got a few bat sticks. I got this bat stick too. And I got this bat stick. And then I've got my swarm of bats. I got lots of bats, is what I'm saying. It's all from the Gigabat. I finally accomplished its no-hit. And my god, it was about as challenging as the Star Construct. I did not have an easy time. I mean, killing the boss, of course, took even less time than the last one did. Just getting everything right, basically getting lucky enough to get the easy to dodge attacks and lining up my abilities just right so that he dies in an instant. That was the hardest part. But you know what? We got it. Because if there's one thing that you can come to expect from a pixelated fireball let's play, is gonna be endless attempts and failures to accomplish everything that I do. That's the best way to go about it. There's a lot putting a lot of force into those words too. Anyways, let's take a look at this weapon. It is called the Batastrophe, the flawless item from the Gigabat. I've got it upgraded to Ruthless, and thankfully, uh, because of all my crazy amounts of times that I actually killed the Gigabat, even though I didn't manage to no-hit it, I got myself a lot of Platinum, so the Goblin had no problem giving me that Ruthless modifier on that thing. This thing is a summon weapon. It just spews bats in all directions until your minion cap is filled, so, you know, there you go. Each one spews out, I don't even know how many bats, looks like 15, 20, all the bats. As many bats as you can fit in a, in a, in a bat stick. It only does nine summon damage, but as you can see, it spawns out a lot of bats, so it kind of just, you know what? It turns the tables is what it does. For so long, I was the one dealing with all the bats in the underground, but now I am the one that can dispense the pain with the bat swarms. It's nice to be on the uh, on the other side of that. And the even better thing about the whole entire bat stick here is that it ignores up to 15 enemy defense. So these guys are just gonna mow through pretty much every mob and getting through a good chunk of like, I guess, boss defense. They'll be really good for Queen Bee because, you know, the longer that fight goes on, the less damage she takes. So if I throw on my piercing potions, throw that on there, um, We'll just bring the regular stuff, just to take her down for the first time, and then we'll, you know, we're, we'll work our way through, as we do. Doesn't take any mana either, so I think I can just throw it out there and just will not drain my mana. That's pretty good. I like that. But yeah, now that I've shown that to you, let me show you the actual recording of the no-hit. I promise it'll literally only take a second. And just like that, he's dead. See, pretty easy, straightforward stuff. I got everything lined up real well. This other bat stick that I got right here from him, the Echo Staff. Hitting an enemy grants a temporary 50% boost to critical strike chance against that enemy. So I nail him in the face with that thing and then blast him with the good old Star Dance a few times. Full health to next to no health in just a short few seconds. And I realize that some of you might not really consider that a proper no hit because the boss died in a few seconds and I kind of did some cheesy business. I'm not at all concerned about the challenge. I just want to accomplish the goal. As long as the boss dies and I get the item, job well done. Pat myself on the back for it. It did take me a good few attempts. Like, it started to get real old real fast. Not even gonna lie. I think after about 20-some attempts, and of course, you know, why would the bat slimes actually drop the uh, bat whistles at a regular pace or interval or whatever word you want to say? You know, they got to do it every once in a while. You're lucky if you get one every, like, 30 slimes. It's a good thing they have a pretty decent spawn rate down there, though. And I had a lot of battle potions from all of my crimson murdering. Crimson and corruption murdering, I should say. So, easy peasy getting that stuff. Unfortunately, I'm a little low in the deathweed department, so hopefully I come across some running around here. Hey look, another meteorite. You know what, I might grab that because I might be able to utilize meteorite bullets for my mini shark. That could be handy, right? And it's always good to not have a meteorite biome over here in the middle of the uh, crimson, especially during hard mode. 
It looks like it's having some trouble uh, getting deleted right now. It was split up really weird. Man, it still counts as a uh, meteorite biome. I'd have figured I had this cleaned up by now. I guess there is a lot left over. I hate it whenever it does stuff like this. All I wanted to do is just take a quick pit stop to grab a meteorite. Get it, pit stop, because I'm actually standing in a, in a pit in the ground. It was a weak joke, okay? It was a weak pun, but you know what? It's been a while. I was thinking about that, literally, as I was editing the last episode. I was like, you know what? It's been a while since I've had a good old Phil Swift joke or a, a bad pun. It's been a while. I'm gonna have to uh, change that. It's kind of unacceptable. It's like a thing for me. Gotta make sure you squeeze those in there. For a while, I was doing pretty good. I had a good streak going of uh, really awkward bad puns. Every single episode, there was at least one. But you know what? I broke the streak the other day, and I apologize to all of you uh, bad pun aficionados out there. I'm sure you were just as disappointed with me as I was with myself. Which is standard for life, to be honest with you, so it, it bounces right off of me. But I will fix the situation, okay? I will remedy it. Ah, oh, and there's that beautiful house again. My god. Just like last time, I would really love to know who is the one that constructed that masterpiece, because... Wow. Watch out, Chaos. There's a new builder in town. Oh, the lovely adventuring on my way over to the jungle. You gotta love it. You really do. I knew this was gonna be a problem. As soon as I walked over there and I saw the, uh, dungeon, I knew that it was gonna be a trial to get over here. I suppose I could take a look-see at what the other ocean looks like. Maybe I can find something else kind of amazing or impressive or whatever that I might be able to use. Usable over there in terms of like base construction location. Because I was gonna use both of them and if the one on the left is a little bit bigger than the one on the right, I don't know. Something better to work with. Alrighty, we've arrived at the jungle. I've got this pretty well explored already. I must have come over here a while ago and I don't remember what for. Maybe I was just scouting it out a little bit. Did I find a way in? I think I did. Yeah, I must have found a way in. Okay. All right, past pixels. What were you doing over here? Want to explain yourself? No, I'm really not looking forward to this episode. I'm not going to lie, because I don't know how I'm going to no-hit the Queen Bee. I don't see how that's going to be something that's even remotely possible, because it's already tough enough just taking her down in the first place. I mean, I've got some really overpowered equipment, so I don't think killing her is going to be a problem, but no-hitting her is definitely not going to be a cakewalk in the slightest. Maybe I could max out my HP while I'm down here too. That'd be pretty nice. I think I might go for that. That's the goals for today's episode. We're going to take down the Queen Bee, going to explore the jungle, get all the equipment from over here, head back to my base, and then take another marathon run back here again. Lots of life crystals right at me. Ah. What? Oh, what? Excuse me? Where did that come from? I don't even remember seeing that thing fall. I mean, I see it now. That is really interesting in like a really frustrating way. Hey, look at that, I forgot to set my spawn. Ha! I don't know if that's convenient or not because I have to walk back less now, but at the same time, kind of sucks because whenever I teleport back, it's gonna be a problem. So that's just about as much of a curse as it is a blessing, I guess. Whatever, good job me. I did real good. I don't remember what I was doing exploring over here forever ago, and also I forgot to set my spawn point. Nice job. Pat myself on the back for that one. Today is going to be a great episode. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones, I tell you. Huh. Wow, a green slime was nice enough to deliver me a Spelunker potion. Well, you can't go on a good Spelunkeration without a Spelunker potion, so thank you, Terraria RN Jesus. I'm glad you dispensed that upon me. Now that is a sign that things are going to start to turn around. That's what I'm going to take that as. I'm hoping that there isn't more ridiculous, stupid deaths. It's been a while since I died within the first few seconds of walking in the jungle. There we go, we got our first house too. Life crystal? Don't mind if I do, I'm really boosting up that health pretty quick. I like it. What do we got in here? We got an amazing painting. Flare gun, garbage. Never mind, I take it back. This is the worst, biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. Things are not turning around, we're doomed, it's the end, I'm sorry. It's gonna be the final episode, because the first chest in the jungle had to give me a flare gun. That's what makes me call it quits. Hey, look at that, we already got our first hive too. That is something that I'm really not going to be looking forward to, because I know that I'm gonna have to build a big arena for the queen bee. Like, there's no way around it. Um, should I do the thing? You guys know what I wanna do. Hmm. Hmm. I'm torn. It's in water. Maybe it'll go well. I feel like this may be a problem. Let's do it. Please don't destroy the thing. 
Oh, they're trapped. The bees are trapped. They can't get out. Oh, wait. Yes, they can. Ah, God. Take this, bees. Take my bat swarm. There you go. How do you like them apples? Can't get past the bat swarm. And somehow, some way, the, uh, the larva did not get destroyed. I'm impressed. I am genuinely amazed that that worked out. I wonder if it got trapped inside of something. Ah, God! Oh, my. Okay, never mind. That took care of that. Thank you, Stardance. This thing is the most overpowered, I swear to God. And I love it. It's the best thing ever. But it's definitely broken. Oh, it's because it's up there. Okay. So, uh, don't shoot that way. Good to know. Ah! There are so many more down there than I thought there would be. Okay. Have we shish kebab them all with the space sword? You know what? I think this is the first time that me doing that has actually not ended in complete disaster. Normally, it's an absolute train wreck. And you know what? It's exciting and hilarious, but this time it worked out really well. It was a very peaceful uh, hive destruction, which I think opened up a pretty decent area for an arena. So you know what? We may just go right into killing her right now and then come back and do the exploration later. Just mark this area. I'm definitely gonna bring back a bed or something over here because I know I'm gonna be traveling back and forth a lot. Especially if I'm gonna be no hitting or I'm gonna need an easy place to respawn at. So many little droplets of honey over here. This is a pretty wide open area. I might be able to make this work. Clear it out a little bit. Could work as Planterra's Arena too. It's definitely gonna take me a while. Maybe I'll do that little thing that I did in Fargo's where I'm like, you know, yeah, we're gonna make a base and I'm gonna use the magical powers of editing, snap my fingers and then poof, there's the arena. There you go. How do you like them apples? Pretty snazzy build, if I do say so myself. Very basic, classic, good old-fashioned platforms going across from side to side. Thanks to my cosmic cable, I can ascend them very quickly. Um, I was a dummy and forgot to grab my slime saddle. I have no idea what would have possessed me to take it off in the first place, but whatever. Very irresponsible of me, I know. Hey, look, a rally. Totally useless to me now. Not a material. In the trash it goes. But yeah, I got myself a little arena built up down here. I got myself a spawn point over here as well. Even came across the good old unconscious man over here, Mo. So he's going to be backing me up for this fight. Uh, hopefully he's uh, very supportive. Um, Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I could get ale from him, which I think, what does that do? Increase melee ability. So it'll give me even more melee damage at the trade off of lower defense, which you know what is OK for no hits. So I might take a stack of that. Let me buy just, you know, 50 mugs of ale that you just, I guess, just, I don't know, generate from thin air because you don't have your actual bar set up down here, but whatever, doesn't matter. I've seen people pull stranger things out of thin air in this game, so we're not worried about it. Anyways, let's buff up and try to take this lovely lady down. Hopefully it's not a problem. If I do fail, there's plenty of materials down here that I can use to build an abomination, so shouldn't be a problem. As my arena fills up with mobs that are definitely going to ruin my no hitting. Thankfully, in such a large wide open area down here, I can just shoot the star dance out and it just kind of goes everywhere. All right, enough rambling. Let's buff up. Poof, take it down. Where's she at? Actually, you know what? I could probably do something here. We'll blast her with that. There we go. Charge at me again. There we go. Okay, if I could get her lined up, wouldn't be a problem. I just got to avoid the stingers. The stingers are the issue. That is going to be what ruins it for me. If I can get her to stand still, though, and summon out her babies, I can just murder those real quick. Shouldn't be a problem. Ah, God, there we go. That is going to be an issue for you, too. That is going to be an attack that she does that I'm going to annihilate her with. If I just don't screw up with the stingers, I might actually get this on the very first try. Maybe not. Oh, God, that was close. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was close. Come on. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Queen Bee on the very first try. My God, that is what I'm talking about. Thank you, Stardance, for being absolutely busted. That's fantastic. Man, that was actually a little bit nerve wracking. I was going into this thinking that I was going to have to try or something like that. My God. OK, let's open up the treasure bag, see what we got. A whole bunch of good stuff that I, I may use. I don't know. It depends. Um, I'm going to put all these potions in my inventory here, in my piggy bank, because I'm not going to need them. Not at the moment, anyway. Ugh, so much stuff. I forgot that whenever you kill the queen bee, her treasure bag explodes with items. Okay, why don't I just deposit everything? There's her drop. I recognize that, because I've never seen that item before. Okay, let's see what she gave me. The royal orb. 12 summon damage, summons a channeled minion, summons a hive-bearing bee, which releases smaller bees on enemy hits. Oh, wait, what did it say? It's channeled, so I actually have to hold the thing down and then it will fly around and do what it does, I guess. Is it, how does this work? I should be able to make another abomination. I put all the useful items in here, all the things that I would need. Let's grab another one and see what this thing does. Bring it on. 
Oh wait, I actually have to let the summons do the thing. Okay, can I use the bat catastrophe, or do I actually have to use like a bee staff? So wait, is it summoning bees right now? Is it doing anything? It's it's very strange. I do not know what's going on. Do I have a summon minion anywhere? I don't even have a summon minion out here. Well, that's not gonna do me any good. Whatever, I guess I screwed that up. We'll have to try that out later, because that seems really cool. I'm actually relieved that I managed to take her no-hit down that quickly. Probably means this episode's gonna be relatively short. We can do a little bit more jungle exploration. We still got plenty of items to grab down here, but that should uh, pad out the runtime, give us a nice comfortable length video. I hope, anyway. Hopefully interesting things happen down here, and I don't end up cutting the majority of it out as well. Hey, even got the honey goggles. Nice. We'll throw that on there. Why not? How much of her stuff did I get? Got the bee's knees, got the honeycomb. Is this useful for anything else in particular? Nope, looks like it's the same old, same old, and neither one of those are materials, so I'm probably not going to use that for anything. Got a hive pack already, so that can just go into the trash. Plenty of bee nades, I might be able to use that against Skeletron. Though, honestly, this star dance here is kind of mowing through everybody, so I might stick with this thing for the duration. Ooh, Shredditor, would you look at that, a second no-hit. Piece of cake. All right, I've got my bee's knees, bee keeper, bee gun, I've got a whole bunch of bees wax. Don't need the pants like the vanity set. None of that stuff is important at all. Got lots of bee nades, another honeycomb, and a second royal orb. I don't think that there's anything else that she drops that I need unless there's something that I'm forgetting about. God, oh, there's so many man eaters down here. I think this might actually make a pretty decent Plantera arena as well. I like it. Lots of kills. Uh, that was a pretty easy thing to no hit. I mean, having a really overpowered weapon definitely helped, but she wasn't too terribly difficult to dodge. I'd call that a job well done. Um, anything of value I could make with this stuff? Spores, none of that looks valuable at all. There is a new weapon that I could make, the Thistle Thrower. Well, we'll definitely grab that and take a look at it. Grab some jungle spores, vines, and some more rich mahogany. Um, vines good for anything? No, just the same old, same old? Okay, well, I'll grab some stuff over here then. Go and do a little bit of spelunkerating in the jungle. Go up there and have a little chit-chat with our witch doctor. Which, by the way, a little fun fact, I forgot to mention, it's related to NPCs, but has nothing to do with the Witch Doctor. Um, I discovered that, in fact, the, uh, the Dryad, I forgot her name there for a second, had a little bit of a brain fart. But she actually sells bat arrows that you get from the Gigabat. Huh, looks like there's a tree down here somewhere. What is this? Desiccating. Why am I desiccating in here? It's just jungle water. Is there something going on here? Oh my god, what? What? Let me out of this. What is happening right now? Why am I confused? Ah! God! Why? What is going on? Is there like a salt biome over here somewhere? Is that what's over there? I can kind of see a little bit on my mini-map. There's got to be something over there. That is really strange. I didn't even notice the water change color. Well, thank god I have my spawn set right here. Um, okay, so we won't go that way. Then we'll just go past the water. Can't even notice the water changing. Like, let me zoom in a little bit right here. Just looks like tree to me. Just looks like regular old jungle water. There's got to be a salt biome somewhere nearby. Smack right in the middle here. Hey, feral claws. Nice. Those would be really good to pair with the star dance. I'll bring a honey dispenser just in case. I don't know if it'll be useful for anything, but you know what? Might as well. Solidifier was useful. Hey, yeah, look, there it is. I found it. Okay, maybe we could take a little bit of a detour through the salt biome. Unless it would be easier just to go down below. I don't have any bombs on me, I don't think. No, I don't, unfortunately. Okay, whatever. Guess we gotta do this the hard way. Ah, God, the flies. The flies are back. I'm not even inside the biome. Already got the swarms of bees and bats to deal with. Should call this the swarm mod. Definitely does a lot of that. Well, I can't go anywhere near water because of the salt biome right there. So I guess I gotta kind of be careful here. Oh, wait. They're not giving me confusion. Immunity to all debuffs caused by Feral Bite. Okay, so anything that Feral Bite gives me, so I think that's what, like blindness or darkness, whatever it's called, and confusion, and I forget what else. I guess I'm immune to that now, like it cannot affect me. That's pretty all right. That is kind of like a, like a mini Ankh shield almost. That sounds really good, I like that. I'm a fan. You know what, I spend so much time trying to avoid getting rabies, when in actuality I should have tried becoming one with the rabies and then it accepts me as one of its own and then I gain its power which is pretty much how it works in real life I think right all right I'm just going to probably skip through the majority of this and just grab all the items that I can everything that I come across and then we'll go back to base and take an inventory of everything unless of course something interesting does happen 
in which case I will absolutely leave it in the video. If not, I'm just gonna go grab all the stuff real quick and then teleport back to base and then we'll go over everything I got. So I'll see you then. All right, so we're back from the jungle and I think I've got absolutely everything that I'm gonna need from it. I got my staff of regrowth and my sharpening station and I also upgraded my specter boots to lightning boots. And actually, you know what, now that I think of it, I should be able to upgrade to frost spark as well because I know that I've got ice skates because I was definitely using those for some pretty nice top tier uh, King Slime no-hit strats. There we go. That's done. I can't believe I was an idiot and I forgot all about that and I upgraded those. Wasted some gold on that. It's okay, we'll get it again. Uh, I'm not liking the way you're doing that. There we go, okay. Got a little scared there, Nudar. You were doing really good so far, but uh, looks like you decided to change your mind there for a second. Anyway, as you can see, I've made a little bit of a costume change. I have switched to Summoner, just because I want to see what this Royal Orb will do. I've got myself a couple of Slime Crowns, so we're gonna summon King Slime out here, use this Royal Orb on him, and see how this goes. Got all my summons out here, hopefully I don't melt them too fast. There we go. Just use that stuff, bring the bees out. Wow, that's pretty nice. I should have brought myself out a Hive Pack, then I could have really dished out the DPS. It's not doing too bad, I mean, it's nice. I guess it does really emphasize on the whole summoners just kind of standing there letting the minions do all the work thing. Let's use the bat catastrophe against it. Actually, I have to despawn all those winged star things. Oh my god, look at all those bats. Swarming them. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's do that again. Let's see the instant replay. Oh yeah. Melt them. Oh yes. I am the Batman. First there was the stormfish, now I am the Batman. There we go, annihilated. You gotta love it. Mow through all the other little slimes, so adorable. Thinking that they can stand against my power of bats. Very nice, I like this a lot. I mean, they don't do an enormous amount of damage, but they are definitely a lot of fun to use. Uh, as for the Royal Orb, I don't know. Maybe it would be better if I had better summons, or maybe if I threw a Hive Pack on, but I don't know. The extra damage and mobility that I get right here would, uh, would probably be too important to just pass up like that. Uh, let's not dump all that in our almost full inventory again. Hey, Demetrius, uh, I got some things for you. And by things, I mean half my inventory. Okay, got a little bit of gold from that. That was pretty fun, but there you go. Took a little bit of a look at that good stuff there. But with that, even though the episode's probably gonna end up being pretty short, because I feel like I haven't been really recording for all that long, like the last episode. Probably gonna call it an episode here. In the next episode, I guess we'll be taking down Skeletron and the dungeon, and then the Wall of Flesh, and just like that, I want to say like a third of the mod is already done, even though the uh, episodes have been a little bit longer and I've been doing a lot less off camera stuff. So there's been more episodes than normal, but whatever. Either way, we're coming to the home stretch of pre hard mode and I'm very excited. It has been a very interesting mod so far. But like I said, with that, I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.